you guys? It's your girl Ava loving it back here again with a new travel vlog. I figured that I will start the vlog here in my layover in Doha, Qatar. I only have an hour and a half to get to my boarding gate and um, you know what? I'm so smart because I left my ATM card at home. I didn't get to bring that much cash with me so Good luck. Oh, it's still winter time and you know what that is. You guys know how much I hate wearing so much clothes. I will be staying there for probably 22 days. Every birthday, I always wanted to celebrate it into a different country. I've already explored most of Southeast Asian countries. So I decided to like, why not explore Europe this time on my own. Actually, I'm going to see some of my friends in Netherlands, in Amsterdam, in Barcelona, and maybe Tel Aviv. I don't know what lies in the next few days. Six hours of being inside the plane, I finally made it here in Amsterdam Airport. Although I was kind of annoyed, it was my first time ever to got hold in an immigration office. Never in my life I've experienced that. I was so nervous that they wouldn't let me in and pass through. They ask a lot of questions like, "Oh, so why are you here in Europe? Is it your first time?" Larida, good thing. I brought my old passport with my old Shenzhen visa in it and they saw that there's a lot of stamps. I did had a lot of travels before and they also asked me this thing if I have friends in Europe and who I'm going to visit. Where's my air ticket? How long will I be here? All of the people who got hold in that area were all Asians. I will be here for two nights only to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. Update you guys later. I'm starving. I'm gonna go find some place to eat. I bought a ticket, a one-way ticket to Central Station and it cost me 5.3 euros. I used my Visa card since I left my ATM machine and I couldn't withdraw money. I decided to just use my credit card all throughout this journey. There's a lot of information booths for those solo travelers or first time travelers out there. Rest assured that you guys won't get lost. So now I'm going outside the central station and take a tram to my hostel. It's also quite difficult for me to travel around with huge luggages. You've seen some of my vlogs and I only bring this small usually as my check-in luggage. Honestly, this is just 20 kilos. The reason why it's only heavy is because there are canned goods inside. Para makatipid -tipid. So I had to pay 3 euros for the tram and I can use it for one whole hour. I know it's expensive but welcome to Europe, baby. <laughs> I don't know if I'm lost or there's just really no people around. I'm checking my Google Maps. I think I'm on the right path. Best shot at the next vlog. Ko naman may jawa na ako na buwan buwan ng mga gamit ko. Ay taka buwan na nga. Pwede ba yon? Yeah, it's your birthday and I'm thirsty. Anna, 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 Anna. It's your birthday. And I'm Thursday, and I, and I, and I, and I, it's your birthday, and I'm Thursday, and I, and I, and I, and I, I was. I am finally in my room. Good job, self. Good job, self. Yay! Not so bad. Uh huh. Look at my view. Look at this view. Boom. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, look at this. What the heck? I really wish someone could take a photo of me. I want to share to you guys that I just got a pocket Wi Fi. It's an international pocket Wi Fi. Although it wasn't working earlier, 
but I emailed their service center, which they respond so quickly. I think I got a response within five minutes and they helped me out. It was my first time to use my device. After a few hours flight, my device is finally activated. This is called TEP Wireless. I'm gonna link it below. It works pretty well. Their battery life is also long. Highly recommend for you guys to invest in one pocket Wi-Fi, especially if you've been traveling around. Normally, what I do is I buy their local SIM cards and I only get to use it for what, five days, 12 days maximum and that's about it. I always have to put load in it. Unlike this one, I just have to turn it on. And then, voila, the jet lag is kicking in. My late lunch. Um, I haven't eaten that much yet. I normally bring groceries with me it saves so much of my money restaurants they just they're so expensive for one meal bon appetit change into my cute outfit i know this is a little bit too much for me from hubadera to balot na balot what's up with the fur feeling go si what 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 what, what? I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my Literal $20 lang kasi hindi ko nadala yung ATM ko eh. It is just a simple girl. Yeah, now. Um, my friend is... Danny is about to pick me up. He's on his way. And he said he's almost there. So I'm gonna go down now. Well, look who it is. After three years. Welcome finally. <laughs> finally. Woo! So How handsome. I'm good. What's up? I'm good. Okay. So what are we gonna do now? The adventure Amsterdam adventure begins. Begins. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. We're here in a Japanese fusion restaurant. <laughs> Having a date. Because <laughs> I haven't seen him for three years. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> The next morning. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear. I'm loving it. Happy birthday to you. Uh, today's my birthday. And I seriously don't mind waking up to this kind of you every day. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I've been seeing all of your DMs, tweets, messages, Facebook posts, Instagram comments. Thank you so much for the birthday greetings. I want to reply to all of it, but I need to also work. Damn, all I can say is I never thought that one day I will wake up in Amsterdam with this awesome view for my birthday. Dreams still come true and I just, uh, I'm so thankful. Uh, I'm finally here. What the heck? What the heck? What? Still feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, I'm so thankful. After about an hour, I got lost. <laughs> Finally made it here at the tram stop. That spills a little like I don't know, I can't pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put it below. I should go through this castle right here. Behind that is the Van Gogh Museum. In real life, the I am Amsterdam sign. I wanna take photos, but there's just too many people. And there's no one will take my photo, so might as well just stare it and do the vlog for you guys. 
I bought tickets to Van Gogh Museum which is 23 euros it is included with the multimedia tour the one with the headset because I think if I go inside and not know anything about what's going on it wouldn't like it wouldn't make sense right one hour later I'm done with the Van Gogh Museum it was an experience I wish my sister was there because it's one her of her favorite artists and Lucas with me again the local tour guide the local tour guide the local He's Asian my tour, guide. tour guide yes in Amsterdam. <laughs> the most Asian tour guide in Amsterdam so I'm hungry I haven't eaten that much today I just realized that because I've been so busy doing some work and you know, walking around I forgot to eat he also said that I'm so lucky because today is a bright and sunny day. Oh. It was raining the whole oh. week yeah. and I told him it's because it's my birthday. So that's why it's a beautiful day like me. <laughs> Just kidding. He's not laughing. Oh my god. This is what I got. Meatball linguine. And what did you get? Wow. <laughs> What did you get? No, it's like the pongole. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm finally going to eat. Before we take some photos, I'll be looking super bloated for sure. Mm. Super what? Bloated. <laughs> yes. Bon appetit. How do you say bon appetit or like, let's eat? It's smackle. It's smackle. That sounds good. It's smackle. It's makulit. Parang it's makulit lang eh sa Philippines. So you really need to try this focaccia bread with like the juices of the linguine. Like a commercial model <laughs> for the bread in the linguine. <laughs> I'm not a fan of bread <laughs> because you know what I love rice. So Asian. This the guy has super chinky eyes. Do I look Asian? <laughs> found a spot for the Instagram photos. Unfortunately, I like that side and it's not well lit. It's not going to be as nice if the sun is hitting those buildings out there. So if you guys are wondering, I don't know, you probably noticed it that I always shoot in daytime. He's my photographer. He's a good photographer. Where? He has the eye. Alright, I'm ready now, ready now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fall back now. Alright, I'm taking off, taking off, taking off me. Alright, I ever ask, ever ask, when you gonna, you gonna be my lover? Tonight, take it with me, take it with me. If I was Tony, no sense, and you your friends, and they all your friends, baby, never mind, never mind, never mind. So we're now entering the red light district. Your trip in Amsterdam wouldn't be complete if you didn't go here so that's what we're gonna do now uh, also if you guys wanna get some coffee go to a cafe but if you want something else go to a coffee shop there are, those are two different things totally different things because here in Amsterdam you all know must know that marijuana is legal so most of the people just casually smoke it even when they're just walking uh, so yeah I'm pretty excited because it's not a normal thing for me to see I will also censor some parts or maybe give you guys a quick glimpse because I know that I have kiddos watching my vlogs and I don't want to be a bad influence to you guys let's go oh my gosh so this is the red light district. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
Bawal kasi to. Undercover Ava Love in it. But the end. It's not a bear. <laughs> Shook <Shoot> it. <laughs> I am in shock. Like seeing this. <sighs> but this is the red light district. So most women are outside at the windows. Ayan. <laughs> Medyo shock ako. Shock. Rated PG. This is the dumb square. Dumb square. It's the most famous square in Amsterdam. And we have here Madame Tussauds. So normally during the day, this square is packed. And if we go to the right, we have the central, central station. station. Yeah. I didn't get to see this today, unfortunately. But it's still pretty, yeah, we're going, even in night time. We're going a little bit closer. We just pretend that we're like taxi drivers. Okay. A lot of uh, bikes in here. Let's see. check it's 6 20 a.m and i'm about to go to the airport my flight is at 10 30 in the morning to barcelona the ava loving it europe adventure continues let's go so the guy says to take this way but there is no way there's a whole fence and this sand what the heck there's construction being made there you know the tram my luggages are too heavy the line 4 and 14 forget you straks need to check all right I made it here at Amsterdam Central Station. This is where I'm going to take the train to the airport. She pulled airport. It's so hard to pronounce. I know I'm so bad at it. <laughs> but look at this amazing sunrise. Such a short stay. What a shame. But I will definitely be going back here. Maybe when the weather is not as cold. Hopefully soon. I missed solo traveling. I haven't done this in a while because most of the time I'm with my friends traveling. I took the tram going here. This is a one day, a 24 hour ticket and it cost me 7.5 euros I believe or 8 euros. <laughs> yeah, it's 7 euros, 7.5 euros. So this is unlimited rides. You can buy this right away as soon as you step inside the tram. So I bought a train ticket to Shipol Airport using this machine. You can see it right away as soon as you enter the Amsterdam Central Station. It's pretty easy to understand. I want to go to Shipol Airport. It's pretty easy. So that's it. So with this machine, you cannot use cash. Just credit card and debit card and then tap it there. It's pretty easy to use. Two hours later. Made it inside the airport. The self-check-in and the scanning thing. It'll take a while. Make sure you check in early you know, so that you don't miss your flight. But something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, sandwich, orange juice. You take a lot of vitamin C especially when you're traveling. Also vitamin E. Um, so I bought this and it cost me 11 euros. I know I'm not in Asia anymore, it's so expensive here. Everything is expensive, but. And 
got no choice. I gotta eat healthy. Pretend that I'm healthy. I think this ends my vlog, my Amsterdam vlog. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to Ava Love and It for more travel vlogs, comment below which one is your favorite part of this vlog. And I'll see you guys in Barcelona. Bye! You are my fire The one desire Believe when I say I want it that way